Spoiler alert! For those of you in a hurry, go up to Sequence, Render Audio. Now here in the project panel, I have a single video tutorial.mov. I'm thinking I would like to nest this inside of a sequence, so I'll just drag it down to the new item button just here, and here's my new sequence tutorial just here. We can also see it just over here. So this is my tutorial sequence, here's my tutorial movie, and if I open this up a little just down here, tap in the plus sign a couple of times to zoom in, we can happily see the audio waveform just here. So of course this is going to make editing to audio that much easier. But now I'm thinking I would like to nest this tutorial sequence inside of a larger parent sequence, which I'll call project. So back here in the project panel, let's drag the tutorial sequence down to the new item button. Here's my new sequence. Let's rename that project. So here's my new project sequence just here. We can also see it just over here. It contains the tutorial sequence, which I'll just open up a little just here and zoom in. So project sequence, it contains the nested tutorial sequence. So let's see what happens if we start messing with the audio inside of the tutorial nested sequence. So let's click on tutorial just here. So here's our tutorial movie just here. I'm going to click on the audio to select it. Let's jump into the effects panel. And let's for a laugh add some studio reverb. Now here inside the tutorial sequence, I can still happily see the audio waveform. But let's see what happens now when we come back to the project sequence. The audio waveform has now disappeared. Now luckily, this is extremely easy to bring back. Just go up to Sequence, Render Audio. As soon as I click on that, give it a second and the audio waveform is now back, which should make editing to that audio that much easier. Now guys, keep in mind, you may have to repeat this as you continue to edit your nested elements. For example, if we go back into the tutorial sequence, selecting the audio just here, up in the Effect Controls panel, Let's scroll down to Studio Reverb. Let's go into Edits. I'm going to make the slightest of changes to the room size from 70 to 71. Let's close this up. Again, here in the tutorial sequence, we can happily see the audio waveform. But as soon as I come back to the project sequence just here, the audio waveform has again disappeared. Again, we bring that back by just going up to Sequence, Render Audio, give it a second, and there it is, just there. So that's bringing back the audio waveform on nested elements here inside of Premiere Pro. I hope that helps. Catch you later.